What a super sight, as every woman in the hall agreed, when the supermen of Europe got together in Cologne for the international bodybuilding contest. And with what pride the mighty men displayed all the well-known muscles, plus a lot that the average man had never heard of. Just imagine the embrace such muscle could accomplish. Wasted on a girl, it could put paid to an ox. But who wants to embrace an ox? Among all that magnificence, how could they pick a champion? Well, the judges did. Europe's Mr. Muscles of 1966. London. The Victoria Palace was bulging at the seams. Mighty men of muscle from many countries flexed, tensed and bulged biceps in a bid to become Mr. Universe. There were professional muscle men and amateur muscle men, tall men and short men, each and every one looking like the ancient Greek idea of a god. They stretched and strained before an appreciative audience and a knowing panel of judges urging their cultivated curves to snapping point. Fortunately, nothing gave way, and they all lumbered into position for a final once-over by the experts. The choice was an American as amateur Mr. Universe and an Austrian as the professional. Other ideals of the body beautiful added